I see your hand is on Prince Oshaya. Go ahead and unmute, Prince. I was just going to say hi. Shabbat shalom, Prince. How are you? Good. All right. You feeling good on this beautiful Sabbath day? Yes, and we're on tour together at the same time. So. At the same time. Isn't that amazing? No, but it's just <laughs> sometimes it echoes when oh. we're on thing on to on on the on my um tab tablet and the laptop it just echoes because it's just two things just ah. it's echoes. <laughs> It does. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? <laughs> it was just crazy. Just yes. <laughs> well, good thing. Good thing we could get that in, under control, right? Are you guys happy that it's Sabbath? Is everyone yeah. happy that it's Sabbath? Yeah. And yeah. tonight we're having cold calls, so I won So I was wondering if you would like to join us. Oh, wow. Yes, Dora can join you, but she's going to have to join you through Zoom. Can I join you through Zoom? No, I'm talking about like tonight. Tonight. Like oh, yeah. So mommy, mommy and daddy's going to have to buy me a plane ticket. If they buy me a plane ticket, I'll fly out tonight. You're, already, I mean? you're already in Africa. Um, no, not yet. But no, not already. But uh, but I'm still in Georgia, though. So that's about 10 to 12 hours away. You gonna come pick me up? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, if you come pick me up, I'll be ready. Having a party. Okay, so you can tell mommy and daddy to pick me up and I'll be ready. Okay. Okay, and make okay. sure to bring some marshmallows. <laughs> I will surely make sure to do that. <laughs> I'll pick up someone. I'll pick up someone away. So tell mommy, tell mommy I'll be right. Is that mommy peeking in there? <laughs> you gotta be quiet. Class is about to start, baby. Shalom. Definitely. Listen, I, I know. Okay. So I'm glad this is live or well, because now all y'all other dodas can know. Okay. That's all right. I, I am the favorite and that's okay because most I got favorite things too, is what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, Prince Oshaya says, since me and you are having a great conversation that everybody's listening to, which is awesome because that shows how much family we are. Would you like to pray us in? Would that be okay? Yes, and that is mainly what I was going to say. That was what I was going to raise my hand for, too. But thank you for reminding me. Because <laughs> 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 I totally forgot because this song just distracted me. Okay. Oh, oh, that, that's, why, that's why we're family. Family helps and remind each other of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and mute out so you can pray us all in for the beautiful Sabbath children's class, okay? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Yeah. We come before you down right now in your name to glorify you and honor you at this very moment in your name, in your name, in your name. No matter what happens, we will always do it in your name, in Yeshua's name, on me. That's right. That's right. I love it. I, I love how Prince Oshaya expressed the love for the Most High's name. That is absolutely beautiful, Prince. Thank you so much for, for praying us in for the beautiful Malku Yeladim, our children's class this Sabbath. Um, we're very excited, y'all, because we are going to be talking about prayer. That is actually what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about prayer. What oh. is it? Why do we? Why do we do it? What is it? Look, nephew said, "Oh, 
Absolutely. So let us give them a huh? I didn't know. So I know. So now you know, right? This is going to be amazing. So and it's going to be interactive. So we definitely all want to be able to just enjoy this, right? So let us give the most high Yah some joyful praise on this beautiful Shabbat day. Everybody, all the beautiful yellow Dean, give the most high a round of applause. Round of applause, children. Woo -woo. We are so grateful that the most high has blessed us with another Sabbath. There you go, round. Look, 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 Prince. <laughs> Prince Oshaya got the round clap going on. Round clap. One of our princesses of uh, Princess Sarah from the house of Adia, she, uh, she taught us that that round clap some months back. So we've all still been doing it. So <laughs> it's been uh it's been a thing that we've been doing. So praise y'all. All right, yellow beam. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm I'm gonna need you guys to get ready to raise your hands because I want you guys to really be interactive this Shabbat. And this is this is a study that's going to be for all ages. So even our, our older children, our preteens and our teenage children, uh, we definitely want you to join in on this as well, right? So we are going to be talking about prayer. What is it? Why do we do it, right? This is going to be part one, y'all, because it's going. this is going to be a three-part series for our Yella Dean with really teaching them, um, you know, prayer. And as we see, Prince Shoshaya just prayed this in. And it's so beautiful to, to know that our children have that relationship with the Most High, right? So by a show of hands, I want you guys to raise your hand. And I'll, and um, once, your, once your hands are raised, then we will call on you guys one by one. Um, and to the parents that have some younger children, I still would like for them to, um, to participate. So any children that's on right now, I really want you guys to participate and answer these questions that's going to come up because this is going to be really important for you guys to know and understand. Okay. So, all right. I see, I see, let me see the hands that's up and hold on. I got to move this out the way. I see we got Prince Oshaya. And if you don't raise your hand, I'm going to call on you anyway. So, uh, so you might as well get ready <laughs> because I really, uh, I really want the yellow Dean to, uh, to understand, um, understand prayer. All right. So who can tell us what they know about prayer? That is the first question for the yellow Dean. Um, let me see if I can get this glare off my camera. Hold on, y'all. I think it's just the light that's behind me and I gotta figure out how to maneuver that, okay? All right, so um, again, hand raise or not, you're gonna be called on. So parents, if you got children that are listening in, um, Please get them ready. Please get them ready because this is going to be important. And whatever they know, like let I, I really would like the yellow deem to answer this um, so that they can have, you know, their own. Um, um, so as we know what they what their understanding is, we can help maneuver them through the scriptures on that understanding. All right. So we're going to start with Prince Shoshaya. Prince Shoshaya, I see your hand is up first. So we're going to start with you first. And again, the um whatever other yellow deem is in here, you will be called on. <laughs> so please get ready. Okay, I see we got House of Adia. So Adia, get the girls ready because uh, I would like for them to answer this. And then I see we got the big Prince Malik himself. Um, we are going to uh, call on you as well, Prince. And uh, Sis Melissa, um, um, uh, I'm not sure if you if you're a yellow deem are ready or available, but they are more than welcome as well to jump in and answer their question as well. So let's start with Prince Oshaya. Prince Oshaya, can you tell us what you know about prayer? Can you unmute and tell us what you know about prayer? Yes, ma'am. Um, I know that prayer is not a joke and prayer is serious and 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 y'all doesn't play like that when it's prayer time. And y'all doesn't play like that. So, and and y'all serious. Yes, yes, that is that's a great answer. And you're absolutely right. Prayer is definitely not something that we should play with because it is something you know serious when we go to the most high um in prayer. All right. Prince Malik, Prince Malik, can you tell us what you know about prayer? It's the big prince himself. That's what I that's what I like to call him, y'all. 
uh, prayer is our weapon since we don't um, since we don't fight and struggle with flesh and blood. So instead of fighting someone, we uh, pray. Oh, all right. She came through with the with the big up answer. <laughs> Prince said, that's a weapon of war. Wow, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Sis Adia, um, are, the are the girls available to share in? Okay, they're finding their head cover covering. Okay, okay. Oh, Slock, was that a private message? Oops. Okay, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking on multiple devices. So, okay, gotcha. Um, let, me, let me read that message in its entirety because I didn't realize it was... Okay, gotcha, King. All right, so we'll we'll let them come back. Sis Melissa, if you have uh, if your yellow dean would like to jump in and answer, they are more than welcome. Um, if they would like to join in and answer, Ooh, Malika came through with the weapons of war in this piece. All right, okay. So, uh, Sis Adia, when the girls are ready, they can come back because we do have another question that that's uh that will be on the floor. So when they come back, they're more than welcome to jump right on in and uh, and answer the second question, okay? So we so we know right now, so Malik, uh, Big Prince Malik, he said that it's a, it's a way to, um, it's a weapon, it's a way to fight battles, right? Prince Oshaya said that um, it is something that we should take serious because the most high takes serious. So that's amazing. So we'll hear what the others have to say when they can jump in. So let's go to the next question. Next question. Who knows how we should pray? Like with our hands, should our hands be up, down, open, closed? Who knows? All right. So we're going, we just going to call on a yellow Dean because I really want you guys to uh, participate in this. So Prince Oshaya, you are first. Do you know how we should hold our hands when we pray? You gotta un unmute Prince so we can hear you. Which one? Do you know which one it is? Up, down, open, closed, or, or, or up and open, or down and closed? Do you know you gotta unmute, Prince? We we see I see you moving, but you gotta unmute so we can hear you. There you Oops. go. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> Some people do it this way, this way, or this way. I prefer doing it this way, but mommy and daddy do it this way. Right. Okay. So that's good. So we're going to see what the mo which way the most high tells us to do it. We're going to see which way he tells us to do it today. Right. Are you excited about it? Mm -hmm, but I don't yeah. know how he talks because I never yeah. heard him talk to me. Oh, yeah. You, you're high. You know how he talks? He talks through yeah. his word. That's how the most high talks when he when we read the Bible. Yes. When we read the Bible and we talk. And we we read the word, and we're gonna we're gonna see that today because we got some slides that's gonna show us how the Most High talks to us, right? When we read oh. His word and we read the verses, we get to see what the Most High says, how He wants us to do things, how He wants us to learn. So we're gonna see that today. We're gonna see that today because we got some scriptures that is going to show that. So that's gonna be exciting. So that I'm glad you said that because. That's something we're going to talk about today is how the Most High talks to us and how we talk to him. All right, Prince Malik, Prince Malik, uh, do you know how we should pray with our hands open, with our hands down, open, closed? J just, just tell us your thoughts on that, Prince Malik. I know it, you're supposed to pray towards the east, and I think it's um, up and open. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, All right. So we got Prince Malik with, with uh, he said he thinks we should pray towards the east, towards the east, hands up and open. Prince Shoshaya said all of them. He said up, down, open, close. <laughs> so you're going to see that. Uh, Sister Dia, if the girls are uh, ready, they are more than welcome to jump on in and, um, and share. They can answer this second question. They can answer the first question as well if they want, um, if they're ready, if you guys are ready. They can answer both questions if they want. And then we'll see. Okay, let me look at 
look at this. I still got that glare. I can't fix it, y'all. So sorry about the glare on my camera. I done tried to fix it. I don't know what's uh what's wrong with it. Y'all know my camera be uh tripping and doing its thing. All right. So when they're ready, we'll just let them jump back in because we want to definitely keep it moving, right? So great answers, y'all. Y'all are so royally smart. Praise y'all. Such great, great answers, right? So let us continue, right? Because we're, we need to understand what prayer is. So this is something that, um, this is going to answer Prince Josiah's uh, question, right? Because he said he never heard y'all talk. He, you know, he doesn't know how he speaks. So Yah speaks to us through his word. When we are reading the Bible, when we are reading the verses, this is one of the ways. It's one of the ways that the Most High Yah speaks to us. So as the Most High speaks to us through his word, we speak back to the Most High through prayer, through prayer. That is how we talk to the Most High right? So how many of us like to talk, right? I know all of us in here like to talk from the children to the adults. Look, look, I see you. Me too. Me too, Prince. <laughs> Prince said, me, 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 me too, Prince. And I'm sure everybody in here loves to talk. I know we all like to talk. A lot of us enjoy it. We enjoy it a lot, 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 lot. That is what prayer is. Prayer is talking to Yah. So it's telling y'all all about your day, telling him everything that's going on, asking for help, asking for forgiveness for yourself or for others. It's thinking, it's thanking, thanking and praising him. Like we all say hallelujah, right? Everybody's heard hallelujah. We say it all the time. Hallelujah. That's the biggest praise that we can give to Yah. And it's his favorite praise. It's his favorite praise. So when we are saying hallelujah, that is the most high's favorite praise. Okay. So again, it's and it, and it goes back to answering Prince Josiah's question about how does Yah speak? That is how he speaks, Prince. When we read the word, we read the Bible, that's one of the ways that the most high speaks to us. And we answer him back through prayer. Okay, you got it. Is that is that easy to understand? Awesome. Let me see your thumbs up. Thumbs up for me. Awesome. Yes. All right. And just like Prince, uh, Big Prince Malik said, when some when we when we have maybe a battle to fight, or you know, we use prayer as a way to fight our battles. So that's that's so awesome. We know Yah knows everything, right? So why does he like for us to pray? Why do we pray, right? It brings us close to Yah because he wants a relationship with us. So think about this, right? I want everybody to think about this. All the yellow deem, I want you guys to think about this, right? I want you to think about your best friend, right? Do you all have best friends? Uh, I see your shy ass. Are you guys hand up? I'm pretty sure uh, the, the rest of your- Kason. Huh? The Kason. Yeah. Okay. That's your best friend. Okay. Awesome. So, so you think about that. So you think about your best friend for those who have siblings or your parents, right? You think about all the, the people in your life or in your family that you talk to, right? But what if you never talk to them? What if you never talk to them? You never hang out with them. You know, you ignore them all the time. You be rude to them when they're around anything like that, right? Then that means they really aren't your friend or you really don't love them because who that, that would make somebody feel so hurt and so sad, right? If they come around you and they're expecting you to talk to them, they're showing you love, but then you're just uh, 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 mean and grumpy, mean and grumpy, right? Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to be around anyone like that. It would really hurt someone's feelings and it would make them feel so sad. So that's how it is when we don't pray, when we don't pray to Yah, you know, and everybody, you know, you, when you have your conversation with Yah, it's going to be different. 
than the way that somebody else might have their prayer. But this is why it's so awesome for the, for the children who get to see their parents pray or get to hear their parents pray because it starts to set the tone. Like Prince Oshaya, he, he said he gave us an example of how when his parents pray, how they lift their hands up and open them to pray. So that is going to be an example for him. Right. So that's just a little tip for the for the parents. <laughs> Pray with your children, you know, show them not not just, you know, we shouldn't be teaching our children just what to say, but we should also be showing them, showing them how to communicate with Yah. OK, that's for the parents. Back to our yellow dean. Right. Yah wants to be our best friend. He wants us to talk with him, tell him all about our worries, our fears, even funny things that happen to us during the day. We can talk to Yah about anything, right? Anything. You see Prince Josiah smiling? That's how the Most High, stand. well, let, let's just say we make the Most High happy. I was going to say Most High smile like that, but you know, um, in other words, that, that happiness. Most High loves when we come to him to talk to him, Right. All right, Yellow Dean. So I want you guys to get your, if you got pen, if you got a pen and paper or pencil and a piece of paper, because I want you guys to write down your memory verse. And if you can't write it down, we will get it posted on the website in the children's section of the website. But I would like the Yellow Dean to, if possible, write it down because that is going to help them. We have two memory verses. And you guys got to pay attention because this is going to be part of your Shabbat home assignment. Okay, this is going to be part of your Shabbat home assignment. So we have two memory verses that I want the yellow deem um, to the parents that are listening. Um, if they're able to write them down, I would like for them to write them down. If they're not able to write it down, you guys, uh, please send us an email. Salak, y'all, please send us an email. Um and we will we will get it out get it out to you guys or um, just stay linked into the website because sometime during the week we'll post this in the children's section of the website. And give me one second, y'all. Um, one of the family need the link, so give me one second so I can send it on out. Uh, give me one second. So I want y'all to take a look at the. Uh, hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry, y'all, about this. All right. Oh, maybe she's waiting for the link. Um, so maybe that's why she was asking. Sorry, y'all, about that. My apologies. All right, so let's read this memory verse. Do we have a volunteer reader? All right, we might we might need the big prince Malik for we might need the big prince Malik for this for these uh, next two verses. Prince Malik, are you available to read the the two memory verses for for the yellow bean class? We got two verses here. Uh, yes, ma'am. You want me to read it off the page? You want me to read it off the page? Correct. Uh yeah, can you see it? Hold on, let me see. I know. I was, yeah, okay, I can. I, you can see it. Okay, hold on. All right, yeah, here we go. It. Yes, please. Uh, let us lift up our heart with our hands to Yah in the heavens. Right. That that was a uh, prince part of Prince Malik answer. He said, "Hands open and up, open and up." Okay. Okay, Kane okay. got your private message. Um, we'll yield back. All right, and then Prince Malik, if you could please read the second memory verse for us, that'd be awesome. The Most High Yah is near to all them that call on him, to all that call on him in truth. In truth, right? Amazing, absolutely amazing. Again, if we think about why we pray children, what is the reason we pray? It is our conversation to the Most High. It is that beautiful relationship that we have with the Most High. So the more that you talk to the Most High, that's the more you'll get used to building your own relationship with the Most High. Such amazing answers. 
And, and again, these are the memory verses. So I'm going to need you guys to remember them because these two memory verses will be part of your Shabbat homework assignment, right? So we got Lamentations chapter three, verses 41. And then we have Psalms 145, verse 18, okay? Um, if you can't write them down, again, um, have your parents email us and we will um, email them out to you guys or um, just check the website over the next few days and we'll try to have these posted in the memory section of the um, the memory section of the, the memory section on the children's section. We'll have these verses there. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Prince Malik, for your services. We appreciate you. Um, and we're going to yield the floor over to uh, Princess Sarah and Princess Shira so they can answer the two questions that that all the yellow dean was supposed to answer. When they're ready, sis, let me know. And I'll go back to uh, let me go back to the answer. Hold on. I mean, let me go back to the question. So this is the first question. When they're ready, we'll um, we'll let them answer. Woo -woo. This is so exciting because the yellow dean really, you know, needs to understand this. And you and already, you know, just the the answers that the that the uh, that the prince gave, you know, little prince and big prince, you know, the answers they gave. It's so amazing because, again, we need our yellow dean to understand prayer so that it can become a normal part of their life. And we already see that it is. Prince Oshaya prayed us in. Prince Malik gave an amazing answer on how prayer can fight your battles for you, right? And then Prince Oshaya, he said, well, how does the Most High speak to us? And we said, the Most High speaks to us through his word. And we respond back to the Most High through prayer. So that's amazing, you guys. That's amazing. Um, all right. Oh, you, you ready? All right, sis. We ready when you ready. I seen your thumbs up. All right. We waiting for Princess Shira and Princess Sarah. Shabbat shalom, princess. Shabbat shalom. All right. So are you going to answer the question first? Can you tell us what you know about prayer? We can't hear you, princess. If we if you talk and we can't hear you. This idea, if you can hear, we can't we can't hear anything. Okay, there you go, Princess. We hear you. I know about prayer. Um, prayer is about to have a good day. Okay, prayer is about having a good day. Yeah, <laughs> prayer, prayer can definitely help you have a good day. All right. What about your sister? Did she have an answer? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So how about how about the next question? Do you have an answer for the next question? Do you know how we should pray? Should we pray with our hands up, down, open, closed, or opening up or closed and down? Do you know how we should pray with our hands? Open and yeah. up. Yes, open and up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great job. Great answers too, man. Beautiful answers that that all you you beautiful yellow dean gave. Uh does your sister want to answer um the second question as well? Um, what other question? That was that was the last one, the second one about your hands, how how our hands should be when we pray. Um open it up. Open and up. That's right. <laughs> right. And that's why that the scripture that we read, one of the memory verses for you guys, 
Lamentations chapter 3, verse 41, that's what it tells us. Let us lift up our heart with our hands to Yah in the heavens, right? Because again, when we when we read the word of the Most High, that is how the Most High speaks to us. And then we speak back to the Most High through prayer, right? Everybody got that? Let me see some thumbs up, some hand claps. Everybody understand that? Yes, ma'am. Where's the movie? <laughs> Prince Shoshaya, do you understand? You understand that, Prince? All right? That the Most High speaks to us. All right, I see a thumbs up. All right, I see my thumbs up. Great job. Great job. And I know Prince Malik understand because I, I love that that answer, right? So again, y'all, let us see what our he um again, just keep in mind the two memory verses that you guys have, right? We're gonna go over them again. We won't read them again, but just to keep you guys in memory, Lamentations 3, verse 41. Good, I see my thumbs up. Psalms 145 verse 18 those are going to be your memory verses okay so it's going to be part of your shabbat homework assignment and then who got that hebrew flow all right all right yeah i know y'all love this because you guys be asking me so much about the hebrew flow synthesis you guys do so amazing with this right so this is our new who got that hebrew flow sentence for you guys all right ani ahab La tefla. We got that. Ani ahab la tefla. I love to pray. That is the Hebrew flow sentence. Do you guys love to pray? Let me see. Show of hands. Show of hands. Who loves to pray? Okay, you can uh, you can unmute Prince. I see you. I see you ready to unmute Prince Shoshaya. Please unmute Prince. Tell us. Do you love to pray? Yeah, is that was that down thumbs down no <laughs> no uh the other way friends thumbs up thumbs up prince no the, all right we we go we go we gonna work that out for you prince we gonna work that out for you all right prince said eh, eh, no we 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 gonna work it out right i need a hob laftela i need a hob la Tefila, I love to pray, right? We're going to love to pray when we finish with with, the, with this class, right? Because remember, y'all, this is only part one. And then we're going to have we're gonna have three different parts to this so you guys can really get to embrace prayer, okay? Now, your Shabbat home assignment for this week, you guys, your Shabbat home assignment for this week. All right, can you see this? Parents, if you are um if you are looking please take a screenshot of this um if you're not part of the assembly chat on the website um then just please email us and we'll get their their um Shabbat home assignment to you um it will be posted in the assembly chat again if you're not part of the assembly chat send us an email arukaamet7 at gmail.com and we will uh, get this posted it will also be shared um, no, no, it won't. I was going to say it would be shared in the children's section on the website, but know that um, it's going to be posted in the in the assembly chat and email to those who want it. So the Shabbat home assignment for the Yellow Dean for this week, parents, um, I hope you're listening by earshot, but to the Yellow Dean, Prince Shoshaya, Princess Sarah, Princess Shira, Princess Ari. Yep, she got to do it too. <laughs> Big Prince Malik. Um and any other yellow deem that may listen, um, that listens to us through YouTube, through the website, um, you are, you are, um, you know, welcome to do the assignment. Cause we got, oh my goodness, y'all was so amazing with the yellow deem turned in their assignments, the emails, the emails were coming through. It was so exciting. Like, ah, seeing them turn in their assignments. So this is the new one, all right? Number one, we want you guys to write down what the memory verses mean to you. So write down what the memory verses mean to you, okay? And we will share the memory verses again. And we want you guys to read the memory verses for the younger children. You read, you read with your parents. To the older children, you know, y'all can read on your own. 
but we want the yellow dean to write down what the memory verses mean to them. All right, that's number one. The second part of the assignment is to print out the five finger worksheet, complete it, and then email it. So uh, for the for the younger yellow dean, you're gonna need your, your parents' help with these assignments, okay? The five finger worksheet will be available on the website, parents. So you can print it out from the website. And I'll, I'll give you guys a glimpse to see what it looks like um, when we go through the next slides. But um, print out the five finger worksheet, complete it and email it. And then the third, number three, the third thing is to learn the Hebrew flow sentence. Learn the Hebrew flow sentence, okay? And then we will recap on these things next Shabbat, most high will, so we can get to see just, you know, what you guys think about the memory verses. And then the five finger worksheet, it's a prayer worksheet. Now for the older children, for the older children, you do not have to do the five finger worksheet. For the older children, I want you guys to do a prayer list worksheet. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So it's gonna be different. Before we move on, y'all, as you guys can see, and parents, please, this is to the parents. We want to encourage the children to do a prayer journal. We want to encourage the children to do a prayer journal. Ima Azoria, you all, she has youth journals, faith-based youth, youth journals for our Yellow Dean with the most high's name on them that is structured to our beliefs. This is amazing. She's working on a special one that will be available in about a week. So um, if you guys want to wait for that, which I would definitely recommend, it's going to be awesome, y'all. Really, it's going to be really special. It's going to be a special edition. Um, but to the parents, I, I please encourage you guys to make sure that you get the, the special edition youth journal that is that is specifically being created by Ima Azuri. Like she's she's doing a special edition, y'all. We want to encourage the children to have their own prayer journal, okay? Their own prayer journal. This is an example of some of Ima Azuria's youth journals that she already has. So if, if for the parents, if you if you want to just you know get one, we'll share all the order information after Shabbat. You can go ahead and just get one that's already ready. But if you would like to wait for the special edition prayer journal, um, it's going to be about a week to a week and a half, um, and it'll be available. So parents, definitely keep that in mind. We want to encourage our children to do a prayer journey because, you know, um, we, all of our children are different. Some of them may be okay with just, you know, open praying, hands up praying, and some of our children may have to write down their prayers, which we see. In the book of Tobit, that that was one of the things that Tobit did. Tobit wrote down his prayers. So we definitely want to encourage the children to have a prayer journal, okay? These will be some of the printouts that will be available on the website under the Malku Yeladim section, all right? The children's section of the website, we will have these printouts available, okay? So these are just some extra printouts. The Shema Yisrael, which we know is, the, is uh, one of the prayers that we should be saying every day. And then we have, I will pray for So this is for some of the younger children. Parents, you can print this out. I will pray for, and then it has these little sections of, you know, praying for each other, praying for somebody who's sick, things like that. For the bigger children, as you can see on my, on my left, you see my prayer list, my prayer list. This is what I want the bigger children to, to print out. So anybody 10 and up, 10 and up, you will print out my prayer list. This will be on the website so you guys can print this out. For the younger children, um, nine and under, I would like for you guys to print out the five finger prayer list, the five finger prayer list. And you guys, this is, this is the assignments that you guys are gonna turn in um, before next Shabbat. So if parents, if it could be turned in um, no later than Thursday night, uh, Friday, early Friday rising, that would be great. Um, and to the, to the older children, if you want to print out the five finger prayer list and do that too, go ahead. <laughs> Cause there's going to be quite a few things that, you know, that you guys can print out from the website that will be structured on prayer. Okay. So parents, these will be on the website, uh, where you can print them out, but the journals, um, for the special edition prayer youth prayer journal, that'll be sometime again in about a week to a week and a half. Um, so keep that in mind. All right. 
because we really, again, want to encourage this, all right? So any questions for the children, all right? I want to see, I, I, I want to encourage the children to ask questions. Do you guys have any, and I'm going to just go around and call all y'all. So parents get the children ready, right? Because I want to, I want to know if they were able to understand what we spoke about today with prayer. So let's start with Prince Shoshaya. Prince Shoshaya, can you unmute for me? All right. Um, can you tell us what you, what you learned today? Um, I learned that mm -mm. Mm. can you think of one thing how about i learned that we should open our hands when we're praying mm. awesome that's awesome yeah i think a lot of us learned about that today all right. And do you have any questions about what we talked about today about prayer? Do you have any questions? Yes, because I under, I under, understand that um prayer can be a weapon. Like what? Oh, you ain't know. Yeah, what Prince Malik said that. So maybe when he unmutes, he can explain that to us some more. But yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty awesome to learn that, right? Yes, but I didn't understand that that can be a weapon. Yeah, then, well, Prince Malik, since he said it, we're going to let him answer the question for you, okay? Is that okay? Yes, if he's still on. Yeah, I think he is. Prince Malik, are you still on with us? Uh, y y yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to yield the floor over to you. Hey, Prince uh, Prince Yoshia got a question about your answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your what's your question? Um, he, he your was question. saying that. Oh, there he go. Go ahead, Prince. You can read. You can you can say it. I'm gonna mute out. My question is, um, how can a prayer be a weapon? Well, when you're praying, you're talking to the Most High. So, um, instead of us going out and getting vengeance. Or attacking people because they said something against us or have done something mean against us, we pray. So we're like, we will, some things you could say as, um, Father, can you deal with that for me? Because we don't want to, we don't want to wish anything bad on them directly. But in that terms, we ask that Abba, we ask that his will be done. And that he deals for, he deals with that for us, and that um, or he gives us the knowledge to deal with that situation. That's awesome. So it's like so it's like asking the Most High to fight for us in a way, Prince Willie? Yeah. Yes. Correct. Correct. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's. Awesome. That's awesome. You see that? So now that means we don't have to fight our own battles. We can go to the most high and ask him to fight our battles for us. So that's what makes it a weapon. Great answer, really. Great question, Prince Shoshaya. I love the prince said, I need to know how prayer is a weapon. <laughs> that is beautiful. So maybe Prince Malik can come back and, and do part two for us about prayer and, and uh, explain that. That was really awesome. Uh, Thank you very much, Prince Malik, for taking the time out to answer. That was amazing. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm with Prince Shoshaya. When I heard that, when I heard the answer, I was like, "What? Word up!" You know. So thank you, Prince Malik, for jumping in and answering that. And thank you, Prince Shoshaya, for such an amazing question. That was awesome question. All right, you got any last words to say, Prince Shoshaya? Anything that you would like us to know about prayer? Um, yes. Okay. What would you like us to know? I would like you to know that when you're praying, mm -hmm. you have to bow down. That's true. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you. You are so smart and you're so amazing. I love you so much, Prince. Oh, so 
I just yeah. want to say something about the body. Sure. So um, the brain is telling the part of the body to do something. Mm -hmm. Say like, I wanted to walk and go in the kitchen and get a snack. So the brain was telling the legs and feet right. to walk. That's and, right. And telling the arm when we get to the kitchen in the closet to reach in. And, mm. and it's telling it itself to think which snack to pick before the arm grabs it and walks right. all the legs to walk back upstairs. Wow. So the brain is really, really smart then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. So now we know we got to use our brain for everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good job, Prince. You're so amazing and so smart. May the most high bless you. Such great, great answers. Great answers. All right, Prince Malik. Prince Malik, can you jump in and share with us what you learned today about prayer? You know, um, is there anything that you would like to share with us about prayer? And I would say if you got any questions, but we all asking you questions. So thank you for answering <laughs> but is there anything that you would like to you know share about prayer that you know um you can teach some of the other yellow deem about prayer or anything you know as one of you know an, an amazing you know you are becoming such an amazing youth leader and um i'm so excited for your continual growth in the most high but uh is there anything you would like to share with us about prayer that you learned that you would like for us to know um the floor is yours um, I would like to say prayer is a very personal thing between you and the Father. It's not something that you go around boasting about. Um, and prayer is always going to be the best thing. You know, prayer praying might even be better than going to your parents and asking them a question. So just to remember, you know, whenever you, there's a problem and you need to evaluate your options, uh, prayer should definitely be on the top of that list. Um, and yeah, today was really a recap. I kind of knew most of this stuff, but yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I, I, questions I ain't asking, we, we asking you questions. Because <laughs> you are so, so uh, intelligent. May, may the Most High continue to bless you as you continue to grow in the ways and works of the most high and you know the floor is open if you ever want to uh jump in and continue and do a lesson for the yellow dean the floor is always open to you you know and since this is going to be a three-part prayer series you know um uh, definitely you can jump in at, at any point and um and do a presentation uh because they're because they're so amazing praise y'all all right for, you know that's why i call him y'all is that's the big prince himself okay hallelujah all right, um, so, uh, Princess Sarah and Princess Shifa, um, can you guys share with us anything that you may have learned today about prayer? Do you have any questions about prayer? And what would you like to share with us about prayer? I learned about prayer that the Most High can help us with everything. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, he can. Anything else you would like to share? Do you have any questions about prayer? No, ma'am. All right. All right. What about your sister? She got an answer? I learned that the most high. I learned that I learned that the most high fights for us. That's right. <laughs> Prince Malik, boy, he came through with that answer, right? Yes, the Most High definitely fights for us, you know? And like your sister said, the Most High, we can pray to the Most High about everything. So that's amazing. Do you have any questions about prayer? Princess? No? That was the answer? All right. We have Princess Ari. No, Okay, I got that kind of thing. Princess Ari, you got to answer these questions too. 
She gonna come through and say hallelujah. I heard baby say hallelujah the other day. She that's the that's the baby, y'all. I think she might be the youngest in the class. <laughs> that's our baby right there. All right. Oh, that is awesome. So if we could, if we could get the adults, any adults that's available, um, if you guys can give um, the yellow deem one tip, or it, it could be a tip or one suggestion, just one. Um so we got about 10 minutes left before we close out. So any of the parents, adults, aunts, uncles, you know, grampsies, any any adult that's available right now, um, can you guys give the yellow dean one tip, suggestion, one piece of advice, whatever it is, just one thing about prayer, one thing about prayer. Let me see. I'm gonna go by the show. We're gonna go by the show of hands for the for the adults. And then um woo -woo, beloved Ima Azari, y'all. Um, hallelujah. Good to see you on Ima. All right, the floor is yours, Ima. Let me go ahead and activate. Shabbat this. Shabbat Shalom. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited about the opportunity and the honor to um do a very special, special writing journal, prayer journal, just for the uh, youth on here. So very excited about that. But uh, what I would like to share is that um, I just like to add this. Um, you are able to learn about righteous prayers from righteous people. So make sure that you surround yourself with those that are righteous before the most high. Listen to their prayers. Learn from them, ask questions, even if you hear them say a prayer and you may not understand. But again, you will learn righteous prayers from righteous people. Shabbat Shalom. Yes, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. All right, Queen Eugenia, the floor is yours. Hallelujah, great words, Ima. Hallelujah, that's right. It's on you, Queen Eugenia. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom. All praises. This was a um, a beautiful lesson. I totally agree um, with Ema as well. It is so important to surround yourself around those righteous Um, my little piece in this would, would be um, regarding prayer would be when you first go to the father, go to the father about self and, and repentance. I believe that's like the first major thing that you can do to offset your prayers is to make sure that you're going to him and you're asking him to like help you that you're repenting, you're seeking his ways, you're seeking his face before asking for anything, before mentioning anything, just really going to him for, for yourself and repentance. Thank you. Yes, yes. And, and you know, that that's so beautiful, says that, that you said that, because that is amazing to know that we can go to the most high to ask him for forgiveness because when we ask the most high for forgiveness it makes us a better person you know so it goes so in line with what Ima Azuria said for the yellow dean you know about looking at the prayers of the righteous you know so we can follow that amazing great advice great advice all right any other adults have anything um one one thing that they would like to share one thing that they would like to share to our yellow deem about prayer, about prayer. Any other any other adults, raise your hand um, so we can get to you before we close out. All right. Okay. Is that Prince Oshai, is that is that one of your parents' hands raised or is that yours? Shalom, shalom, sis. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I couldn't see. I'm like, is that is that one of the parents or is that you? Okay, I yield queen. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. 
Shalom, Mr. Prakash, Shabbat Shalom. It's humbling to always hear um, our children seeking the Most High uh, while he may be found, seeking him in his youth, in your youth, you guys. It's really amazing. It's powerful, and that's the way the Most High wanted it to be. Um, he wants to use you while you're untainted and while you're phenomenally believing um, and not wasting your body on things of this world and sin that tries to eat you up and lead you to death. Um, my passion, my passion is that along with uh, Dodas and Imas and Daddies and the examples that you guys already have in your life is that learning the power of prayer now for yourself is inevitable. Everybody as a believer has to know it. Um, as Prince Malik said, it is a weapon. It is, I would dare to say one of your lead weapons along with your obedience to the Most High. Um, please stop making the balloons right now. Um, that way, um, you guys can know for the most for yourself who the Most High is, who your Messiah is, and how to get in tune with that. Because sometimes, as I teach our son, as we teach our son, you won't have mommy and daddy to tell you. You have to have a relationship on your own for yourself. Um, and remember what mommy and daddy has taught you in righteousness, but you have to solidify that for yourself. And that comes with the righteous um, confidence in knowing what the Most High has said to you. So you have to know his voice. You have to know how to get in tune with him and how to humble yourself. Everything is example. So um, that's why I would say it's very beautiful, knowing that you guys are practicing that, um, branching out to see the examples that Messiah has given us to, on how to pray and how you hear mommy and daddy and your, your examples in your household pray righteously. But now you guys taking that example and making it personal, making it personal. Cause that's, that's really where it comes in there. It doesn't matter if you need help tying your shoes, practicing going potty, being in the school that might not be set apart um, or anything. You could pray to the most high about any and everything. He created any and everything, and he knows how to put everything under his feet. So always stay in tune with that source. So I encourage you guys to keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Um, most high will lead you continually back to him. Love you guys. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I love that you said that, that they that they are getting into the practice now. Because it's very important. You know, a lot of us didn't grow up knowing how important prayer was. But now that we do know, we can be that example to our yellow deem, you know. Um, and all the yellow deem are all of our yellow deem. Like, like all the children are all of our children, you know. So we all have to be an example for all the children of the nation. Hallelujah. All right, Sis Melissa, it is on you. Hallelujah. Great words, quick QP. QP. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so I just wanted to share that prayer is a powerful weapon and also that is a guiding force and that through prayer, you can hear uh, the voice of the Most High and that can give you guidance for the days ahead. So that's all I wanted to share to you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I and that and it goes right to what Prince Oshaya was saying earlier when he was talking about hearing, hearing Yah, you know, and you you said it, sis Melissa, you know that prayer will help us hear Yah, you know, um, so that that's beautiful too. So, and I'm glad that this is recorded, y'all, because it's going to go um what how we're how we're building up the children's section. All of their, their classes is going to be in one spot, just with their portion of the class. So the children will be able to go back and re-watch their, just their portion or part of the lessons so that they can really get this in them, right? So praise Yah, praise Yah. What beautiful, beautiful words from the adults. You know, we, we are here together, you know, rearing up our children as a nation and making sure that they are reared up in righteousness, in righteousness before the Most High. You know, they're set apart for a reason. And the Most High chose them as he set us apart. He set them apart as well, you know? So we uh, definitely have to keep that encouraged. That was amazing. I, I mean, I'm so excited for, for part two because <laughs> it's going to be a three-part series for our Yellow Dean. So again, 
uh, parents, uh, please, if you need any of the printouts, uh, you can go to the website. When you get on the website, go to Malku Yeladim. That will be there. That's the children's section on the Aruka Ya Ahmed Assembly website. You will have the printouts there of everything that they need to print out to complete their assignments. For the older children, they will print out the prayer list. For the younger children, nine and under, they will print out the five finger prayer list and, you know, and they will do that. You guys, um, once it's completed, please email it uh, to the Aruka Ya Ahmed email, which is Aruka Ahmed 7 at gmail.com. It's on the screen. Um, please email their assignments there uh, prayerfully, no later than Thursday night. If at all ha it has to be mailed on Friday, um, early rising, that'd be great because we're going to go over it next Shabbat. So, I, so we're going to need those assignments before Shabbat so we can incorporate them into the study as we do a recap. You know, I, I love that principal Lee said that too. He was like, this, this was kind of like a recap. <laughs> I love that, man, you know? And, and, and prayerfully, all of our children will get to that point, you know? And I love how... Prince Malik, you know, was willing to answer a question that another young prince had. And this is why this is beautiful for them to be able to build around each other. And it shows that our our young adults from from our young, our young children, nine and under, how they look at those um, our young, our older youth from 10 and up, how they look at them, you know, to answer questions and things like that. You know, Prince Malik answered one of the questions and that one question taught, you know, the yellow dean that, wow, prayer is a weapon. Prayer is a weapon. So that's amazing. It shows how we truly each one teach one. We truly do teach each other. So praise Yah. All right, yellow dean, uh, this is the end of you all's portion of class. We, we love y'all. We love y'all so much, children, and we will continue to be praying for y'all as we pray with y'all. All right. Um, can we have one of the children pray us out? Um, Prince Malik, are you available? Are you available to close us out in prayer? And I love it because Prince Malik, he 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 leave the yellow dean class and he come right to the main class. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm telling you, he, he is a, a beautiful example, man. I'm looking forward to how the Most High is just is just uh, building this young man up. Um, so so beautiful and so excited to see. Prince Malik, are you available to pray us out of this portion of the children's class? Uh, Yes, ma'am, I can do it. All right, hallelujah. Toda, toda rabbi, ya. Toda rabbi for your services. All right, I'll yield. Abaya, we thank you for today. We thank you for watching over us and keeping us. We ask that you allow us to continue and have a blessed full Shabbat. Abba. We ask that you allow us to learn and retain everything that we have learned from these lessons. Abba. And allow us to keep them and let us allow them to uh, allow them to keep fresh in our mind so that we can use them during the week. Abba. We ask that you carry us to another Shabbat and keep us protected. And then in the name of Yahushua, I'm a Sheikh, we pray. All the words of Mark 11, 24, it is so. Woohoo, it is so. <laughs> it is so. It is, y'all. It is so. It is done. It's confirmed. I love how Prince does that. When he prays, I love how he incorporates the scripture in his prayer. Praise Yah. So this is the end of our Yellow Dean portion of class, our children's portion of our of Sabbath service. So we will yield to the uh, yellow deem and we will say Shabbat Shalom. You guys did an amazing job. Great answers. Um, and again, uh, parents, you know, um, if you need any of the slides, please email us and let us know. This is their assignment. I have it on the screen um, just in case somebody might want to get a quick screenshot. Um, and if and again, if you're uh, if you're in the assembly chat on the website, this will be posted in the assembly chat in the next day or two. If you are not part of our assembly chat and you would like to be, email us at arukaamet7 at gmail.com. R-A-R-A-R-A-R-U-K-A-H-A-H-M-E-T-7 at gmail.com. To all of our YouTube fam, you know, we, we wasn't live on YouTube, but we will upload this as soon as we can. So the yellow dean that follow us through YouTube will also be able to participate in the um, in the uh, Shabbat home assignments as well. All right, yellow dean, we will say Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. 
and we will uh we will we ain't gonna take too long of a break y'all because we are a few minutes behind um time so we might take a two three minute quick break um uh, and we will go right into the main sabbath service which today the topic we're going to be talking about is what are the idols in our life y'all what are the idols in our lives so we're going to take, no, we're probably going to take like a, a quick two minute break, probably not even going to play nothing. So um, go get, go grab y'all something to drink, go grab some chips or something, because we are going right into the main, um, uh, main Sabbath class. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, children. Blessings and love. Blessings and love. Shabbat Shalom, children. Yellow Dean. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I was going to say, I might play one tune or two, but we'll see. Cause we're going to go right into, uh, it's like 2.35, so we'll go right into, oh, let me end this, hold on, because what, what we're going to start.